Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Ritz. Today I get the honor of walking you around a 2023 Winnebago Solus 59PX. So if you're looking for a camper van where you can truly travel and sleep for people, this is the one for you. Uh, before we start walking around the inside, we'll go around the outside. There's three color options. This one is the bright white exterior uh, color. So let's start kind of up here at the front with something new for 2023. The Ram Pro Master chassis, which Winnebago Solus is built on, had some facelift things that we'll be talking about as we go through. The first one is right here next to the entry door. We get these little buttons on all of our door handles. So if I had the key in my pocket and this was locked, I walked up to it, pushed the button, it would unlock the door so that I could then enter the van, van without having to reach my pocket and pull keys out. Um, kind of a cool little feature. I have it on one of my pickup trucks. I love it. Down below here, just like on 21s and 22s, we have the six gallon remote LP fill. Now on that LP fill, we also have a switch, which is your LP cutoff. So instead of having to crawl underneath and turn that valve until it shuts, it's an electronic switch, makes life a little bit easier on you. Now this is the Solus PX. So we have three models of Solus, the 36A, the uh, 59P, and then the 59PX. So this is built on a Ram 3500 ProMaster, has a 159 inch wheelbase, and totals out to 21 feet long. Now the benefit of going to the PX is you get the Coleman Mach 13,500 BTU air conditioning. And then down below, we have the Onan Quiet Gas 2800 watt generator. So with that 2800 watt generator, it's gonna pull just gasoline directly off of your main 24 gallon fuel tank. So you don't have to worry about going and filling it up or burning your propane, anything like that. Just fill the van up prior to getting to your destination and you'll always have a generator for an external power source to run that air conditioning. Now, it's easier to look from back here than inside, but this is another benefit to the 59PX over the 59P. So you get an extra 18 inches back here as garage storage. So with this storage, you get a little bit of a smart floor system. So on either side, we're gonna have these tracks, which gives us the ability to tie down bicycles or whatever it is that you're pulling around with you. There are different mounting, uh, brackets that you can put on here. So they make a fork mount for the bicycle. They make tie downs, all sorts of different things that you can get just depending on what you need. They also have them on the wall at about mid height, one more, a little higher, and then again on the ceiling. So great versatility when it comes to tying things down in the back of this van. Now with that, we also get the bug screen. So just undo the Velcro straps. And then we've got a zipper here in the middle so that you can have these doors open, get the airflow without having bugs coming into your van. Now with the ability to have these doors open, we also get this bar so that if it gets windy or something, they stay together. They don't, you know, close or one closes on top of the other one and causes damage. And then on our rear view windows with the bed being back here, we also get the full blackout screens. Now they are just zipper and they Velcro on and off so you can put, remove them completely if you wanted to. Moving back into the van. Over here on the right side, we've got our water, bo uh, water block. So basically what this is, is how we're gonna fill our fresh water tank. We also have an exterior hot and cold shower but these valves represent what you're trying to do. So let's say you're out dry camping. So we're gonna do white valve down, green valve up, red valve up, and blue valve uh, horizontal. So each of these represents a different uh, setting for your water, or your water system. So we have dry camping, power fill tank, city water, winterize, and sanitize. So just depending on what you're doing, you just look at the picture, it tells you exactly how to set all your valves. It takes all the guesswork out of it. We also have an input for a solar panel. So if you wanted to add additional solar with a remote panel, we can plug it in right there. Two 110 volt outlets that'll work as long as that generator's running or we have the power or exterior power. A Little bit of storage up top, great place to keep your exterior sprayer. And back behind this is our 20 gallon freshwater tank. 
A little bit of storage we'll talk about as we get inside. As far as the Ram ProMaster chassis goes, we come standard on the Solus 59PX with a two inch receiver with a 3,500 pound towing capacity, a four pin connection for all your trailer brakes and trailer lights. And then up top, we get a full color HD backup camera that turns on just as soon as we put this vehicle into reverse. Now that 2,800 watt generator that I mentioned earlier, um, I'm not a scientist and I don't know what they did, but they did a lot of work to make it much quieter. So it's actually running right now. Um, I left it running, trying to give some kind of a representation of how loud it is, but you'd have to hear it in person and come see it in person to really experience how quiet this generator is. If you're inside, you can just barely hear it. There's very little vibration. It's definitely something that if you wanted to, you could leave running all night long. Moving forward, we've got a connection for a 30 amp power cord. Not something you're really ever gonna need on this unless you're putting it in storage. You just wanna keep your batteries charged up. Forward of that, we've got the five gallon cassette holding tank. So this is gonna be your sewage water. When it's time to dump it, instead of going to a traditional RV dump station, you just pull this out, go into you know a bathroom that has a pre-plumbed toilet or something, dump it in there, or you can take it to a traditional dump station. They do put wheels on the bottom of it, so you can kind of move it around like a suitcase. You figure it's five gallons, that's roughly 25 pounds when it's full. Exhaust for our Truma hot water heater and furnace. And then right here, we've got the fill for our 24 gallon gasoline tank. So things that we can't see up on top, we've got 220 watts of solar up there. Now there are a couple different options for that as well, but this particular van does have 220 watts of solar. Under the hood, we've got a 3.6 liter V6 and new for 2023, on the back side of that, we have a nine speed automatic transmission. So you're gonna get a little bit get better gas mileage in the 2023s than you did in the 21s or 22s. So now we can go on inside, take a look around. So first things first, when we open the door, we've got a three cubic foot, 12 volt compressor refrigerator. So as long as your battery power is turned on, this refrigerator will be running. We've also got a 12 volt power point and two USBs right here at the door. So if you're sitting outside enjoying the day, you can still have power on the exterior of the van. And then just a couple light switches for the interior. So as we come in here, as we come in here, this is our main kind of bed area here in the back. Up top, this is that 13,500 BTU air conditioning. Really easy controls, there's no thermostat, you just rotate. We have high cool, low cool, high fan, low fan, and then off. There's also temperature control there, so you can warm it up or cool it down as needed. Over here on the passenger side, nice big storage compartment. I love that Winnebago puts magnets on the roof so you don't have to sit here and hold this and fight with it while you're trying to put things or put things in or pull things out of storage. Down below, this is that storage we saw from the outside. Again, directly behind this is going to be the 20 gallon freshwater tank. Now, on the opposite side, we have a massive storage compartment. And from the factory, Winnebago is gonna come with this little kit here, this is going to be an air, air pump with a slime chamber. So if you ever had an issue where your tire was losing air, you could actually fill it up right here and it's gonna slime it as well to hopefully get you to a repair facility. Good size drawer. And then we've got subfloor storage as well. And then this particular Solus has the Murphy bed option. So 59 inches wide, 77 inches long. Nice and big, plenty of room here for two people. Now on both ends of the bed, we do have opening windows with screens so bugs aren't coming in. And then they have the blackout screens for privacy while you're sleeping. 
And then as long as the bed is down, another really big storage. Super easy to put this bed up and down, no problem for one person. Now we've got two more cabinets up above. These are gonna kind of act as kitchen storage. Notice Winnebago puts the adjustable shelf in this one so we can move this up and down as needed. Really big storage in here. Now in this bag, we're gonna have all the manuals, uh, owner's manuals for this motorhome. So it'll talk about things like your water system, your heater, furnace, air conditioning, all that will be in that bag. Little spice rack there, two 110 volt outlets and then two more 12 volts, single bowl sink. And then to the left of that, we've got the two burner gas cooktop. Below, we've got the countertop extension, just for extra prep space while you're cooking. Two more outlets and more storage. Now, one thing I really like about the Solus is here, they do this little backlit kind of clear glass now what this is, is the indicator for how full your fresh water tank is. So if I actually had water in here, we would be able to see where the water line is, giving us a visual representation rather than relying on sensors. But we do have sensors as well, so. Um, and then right here, we've got the Eco Hot System. So Eco Hot System was new for the Solus and I think it's really, really cool. Basically what it's gonna do is recycle the cold water that's been sitting in the lines out and pump the lines full of hot water. So you always have on-demand hot water at your tap via the Trimacombi, which is a 2.6 gallon on-demand hot water heater. Here in the center of the coach, we have the 31 by 24 wet bath. So 31 inches long, 24 inches wide. We've got the hanging bar up top, which I'm gonna pop out so that I can come in here. So just for reference, I'm six feet tall, um, bigger than most people, I'm about 240 pounds, but I can still get in here, still sit on the toilet, shower, hot and cold. And then down here, we've got a little bit of dry storage for those things that you don't wanna get wet while you're taking a shower. Put the hanging bar back in here. Now the hanging bar is nice, just if you're not the kind of person who's gonna be using this bathroom, you can use it as hanging storage, or you get back from a day of swimming or whatever, throw your swimming suits up there. That way you're not making a mess in your van. So now we're gonna talk about the pop top. So there's four latches here. So we have this one and the, or we have one of these on either side, which is just a rotating locking mechanism. And then a safety latch, which just buckles in. Very simple. Now the way that I'm gonna demonstrate this is give it a nice push and then it's gas prop assisted and it'll go up the rest of the way without you having to fight it. So up here we have a 52 by 79 bed. Nice and big. We've got windows on both sides. Now this one is plastic right here. They all have covers just like a tent. And then this one is going to be a bug screen, so you're still getting airflow in without bugs, and same with the front. Up here, we've got four 12 volt power points so that the people sleeping up here also get power. And there's also lights up here and a vent to keep that airflow good. As long as two people like each other, there's plenty of room up there for them to sleep together. So, Winnebago did an awesome job here by making this a collapsible ladder. So break it in half and then it can store right up top above the cab. And if you throw some pillows or blankets or something up there, um, kind of wedge it all in there, it'll keep it from rattling. Now we do have two seats right here. They both have three point seat belts. So over the shoulder seat belts, and then you get the table. Now, obviously if you're traveling, people don't want to sit with a table. So Winnebago thought of that. 
and made a place to store it right here behind. Now it does actually kind of snap into place there so you don't have to worry about it rattling and being annoying while you're in transit. Same with the bar. And then we also get a little bit more subfloor storage. Winnebago did a great job by just putting storage anywhere they could in this Winnebago Solus 59PX. And I think that's pretty much gonna take us to the cab. So this is where we're gonna see most of the facelift stuff for 2023. Basically a redesigned cab on the Ram Pro Master chassis. So let's start up top here. We've got the camera in lieu of a backup camera. So it's just a screen, but it's always gonna show us what's going on behind us. We can turn it off and make it just a standard backup camera as well. Down below, we get the seven inch touch screen with navigation built into it. Something we did not have in 2021 and 2022. All new HVAC controls, wireless charging pad for your phone, the same three cup holders, and we also get keyless start. So the keys are just sitting over here and all I have to do is push the button on the side of the steering wheel. Other really cool thing is they did the electronic parking brake rather than having the old school handle over on the left side. Just a pull on, push off kind of deal. New steering wheel with cruise control on it. We still get power folding mirrors, power windows. And then one thing I love about the ProMaster, and it's one of the few that I've ever seen do this, is both our top and bottom mirror are power adjusting. So if I scroll down to the bottom, I can move my bottom convex mirror as well as the top one. On the dash, we have the redesigned seven inch LCD screen, which is just a lot cleaner, high end feeling uh, screen to what we're used to in the Winnebago Solus. Now they also did front and rear parking sensors. So if I'm getting too close to something, it'll start beeping at me. So let me know I'm getting close. And then we also have blind spot monitoring, which is new for 2023 in the mirrors. There's this little triangle up top here. If, uh, if there's someone here, it'll be red so that I know not to get over. All right. Also, we still get the swivel seats in the cab. So move it forward, turn it around. And then once it's all the way turned around, we can move it back. And now we have two additional seats for living area. You know, you set that little table up. You can sit here and play cards with all four people. This one swivels as well. It's a little bit harder than this seat just because you got the steering wheel to contend with, but it's not that bad. So, and I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up my walkthrough of this 2023 Winnebago Solus 59PX. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.